You want to make mind-blowing sourdough bread at home? You don't have to be a fancy bakery anymore. There's a new kid in town. Yes, I know about the Dutch oven method for baking bread. I'm a fan of it. I used it for the majority of my baking journey, actually. But there's one huge downside to that method. Well, actually two. You're confined to the size of the pot. So that means if you wanna do larger loaves or whatever, uh, yeah, well, you better hope that it fits in the pot. And B, you can really only bake two loaves at a time. So this sort of solves both those problems. You can make big, gigantic loaves of miche, the ones that are like bigger than your face, or really long batards, or even the coveted baguette. This method applies to any of those breads. Obviously, depending on the size of the loaf, you may need to bake them slightly longer than the other, so you know, let's steam this thing, shall we? Okay, so there are a few really easy to find items that you're gonna need for this. The first is lava rocks and a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Now the skillet is easy enough to find, but if you can't find lava rocks, there'll be a link below, they're really cheap. So go ahead and add enough of those lava rocks to fill the skillet up just to the rim. Also, quick thank you to Maurizio, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I adapted this method from both a restaurant that I worked at and from his method, majorly his method. So his link will be below. So now you've got your lava rock filled skillet. Now you're gonna need four cheap 100% cotton kitchen towels. Do not use microfiber. They will melt and uh, it's not gonna be fun. And you're gonna fold and roll those up into nice tight cylinders and place them close together in some sort of metal baking tray. I used a shallow half hotel pan, which will also be linked below, super cheap. And last but definitely not least, you need a baking stone or a baking steel. The cheaper option would be the stone choice, which is what we'll be using. These are six inch by six inch baking stone tiles which will be linked below as well. Any baking stone will do, but just make sure it's large enough for your loaves. You know, the bigger the better, assuming it fits in your oven. Actually, wait, one more thing I almost forgot. You're gonna need some sort of pizza peel in order to load your loaves into the oven. Baking stone directly on the grates, in go the lava rocks, and then the towel steamer goes in a little bit later. Now, hold on one second. So, you've got your baking stones directly on the rack, about in the middle of the oven, as to allow some spacing between the steamers. Your lava rock steamer is on the right, and then your supplemental towel steamer is on the left. The towels are added to have continuous steam, even when you're lava rock one poops out on you this is your setup know it live it once you get it down life is good now we just gotta do the darn thing now you're gonna preheat the oven with both the baking stones and the lava rock steamer in there it's gonna preheat with the oven to 505 degrees fahrenheit or 262 degrees celsius and you're gonna preheat that for one hour now i know it seems like a long time but you want to really make sure you get the oven and that baking stone super duper hot now 15 minutes before you start baking so 45 minutes of preheating later pour boiling water over the four towels that you have rolled up in that half hotel you want them to absorb all of the water you don't really want a pool of water below but have enough to completely saturate all the towels. And then just place that to the bottom left of your oven next to the lava rocks. Now this part is optional, but I like to do it. Five minutes before loading the oven, turn your broiler on high to superheat those stones down below. Once those five minutes are up and you're ready to load the oven, don't forget to turn it back to 505 degrees and to turn that broiler off. Now this part goes by pretty quickly, so I slowed down the clip for you. First thing you wanna do is place your prepared loaves that are also scored on separate pieces of parchment paper. We do this in case they need to be slid across during their baking if they look like they're gonna collide. Optionally, mist your loaves lightly with water, load them carefully and gently into the oven. You'll wanna do this safely, but you know, promptly as to not release too much heat. Then you're gonna place a kitchen towel over your oven glass door. Do not skip that part. Otherwise you could risk shattering it by any cold water hitting it and that's, that's not good. Then pour two cups or 473 milliliters of water into your preheated lava rock cast iron, obviously while wearing gloves. Quickly close the door to trap the steam, steam for 20 minutes, then remove your steamers, reduce the temperature to 465 degrees Fahrenheit or 240 degrees Celsius, and bake for 20 to 30 more minutes or until rich dark brown. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. Now if you don't have a bread recipe, I'll link my beginner sourdough recipe below. Just replace that one's Dutch oven baking method with this oven steaming method. Now, let's get one more B-roll shot. So I'm editing the video right now, and I just wanna, I just wanna take a quick little pause to add this little snippet in, which is, uh, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to YouTube, and a thank you to you guys who are supporting me and subscribing and liking my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I was just, uh, it's probably, it's gonna be gone by the time this video goes up, but uh, I was featured on the trending tab 
as a creator on the rise. So, you know, I think it's pretty cool. It's a small milestone that to me says that I am working in the right direction and I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, yeah, let's move on with the video, shall we? Sorry for the interruption. I feel like I gained a huge piece of control over my breads. Not that I'm against using the pot, I think that that's great for beginners. This is really applicable to pretty much anybody who bakes bread. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.